Good morning, everybody. I'm Lindy Tate from Tater Buggin, and I'm taking over at Paint Pixie today. This is my um, bi-monthly Paint Pixie time, and I always look forward to it. Let me get your comments going down here. Just make sure I'm on. Uh, there we go. All righty. I'll wait for my friends to get here. If you're watching on replay, Say hello to us. Let us know if you're new. Um, I would love for you to check out my page at Tater Buggin. I would love for you to follow the Paint Pixie page because how could you not? Uh, so many good things. Um, do I see Cindy here? Yay! Okay, I can get started. Cindy's here. Good morning. Good morning. How is everybody doing today? We're going to do some painting. We're going to do a little bit of a little bit of stuff. Hey, Gwen. Good morning. I've got my coffee with me. I've had enough to probably uh, see sounds. <laughs> Good morning, Cindy. How are you? So, everybody come on in and listen. If you have some friends who don't know about Paint Pixie or who do and love Paint Pixie, uh, or they might just want to watch me paint a little bit. Um, invite them over. Oh, see, Janet, I hate that they do that. I'm glad you signed up for the Telegram, my Telegram channel. Thank you so much. Good morning, Josie. I was kind of waiting for you to get here. That's our Queen Pixie. And um, we just love Josie. <laughs> right, Gwen? <laughs> So, if you were with me, um, what day was it? Last Sunday, I believe, is when we did this little girl with the crown on. I used all Paint Pixie paints here. I always use Paint Pixie paints. Hey, Donna. Thank you for sprinkling. And um, I hope y'all won't be tired of it, but I would like to kind of do a little series and uh, make these all different. And, uh, you know it's rare. I don't think do I ever use other paints other than Paint Pixie anymore. I don't believe so. I love them so much. Thank you, Josie, for putting that link. Hey, Connie. Top of the morning to you, too. Thank you, Janet. Um, so, we are going to go very different from this one, but with the same techniques, I think. I don't know why. Thanks for pinning that. Um, I have a million ideas, you know, and I use, if you watch any of my lives, you're going to see Paint Pixie products because I use them every day. Um, if you watched my pre-recorded video yesterday or last night, I did the, our wood tags and used um, Meltdown. Somebody asked me what Meltdown was because sometimes those pre-recorded videos go out to people who aren't familiar with our pages. And um, so I got to explain what Meltdown was uh, to somebody new, and it's awesome, and we're going to use it today. I'm using one of the um, canvas panels that you can get from Paint Pixie. Let me, let me get my little notes out. I just tore that. Um, you can now get the canvas boards in six sizes on the Paint Pixie website. I'm going to use the 8x10 today. Uh, if you purchase the whole six pack, you're going to save $8. And you get one of each size 11 by 14, 9 by 12, 8 by 10, 12 by 12, 8 by 8, and 6 by 6. It's a real good deal. So um, remember that if you need some canvas panels. Hey, Levada, how are you? So if you are on the Tater Buggin page right now, I won't be able to see your comments because I'm over on the Paint Pixie page. So feel free to hop over here, whatever you want to do. And we're going to get started. And we're going to do some color mixing and blending, a little drawing. Um, we're just going to let loose and have fun today. So what I want to do, I am, the one thing I am going to do the same is I'm going to start out with a, a vintage uh, music sheet to just cover it, the, um, the music. Oh, no, that's cute. Sugar Moon. Ah, oh, maybe I want to save that on the other side. I've never heard of Sugar Moon, but that would be cute under a painting. Hey, Regina and Marilyn. Hi, Ruth. 
It's raining there, Lovada. Oh, let me see if I can reach. Y'all know what? My back. Woo! My back. I'll be painting. Uh, I want to get a. Uh, oh, this is fun. They made notes on that. I think I'll do this sheet. This is the book I pulled from. I got it in a thrift store years ago, I believe in Tupelo, Mississippi, when we were traveling. So I have a little stash of those. Now we're gonna start out by putting this down with the meltdown, like I used yesterday. Hey Chrissy, good morning. Thank you for sprinkling the love out, Ruth. Good morning, Goldie, how are you? Hey Melinda. Oh, all of our friends are getting here. Yay. I'm just going to pour some meltdown. See, I had to go for the big one because my little two ounce. I said, no, I love it too much. I tried the two ounce first. I thought, you know, let's test it out. See what you like. I loved it. So, I went for the uh, larger size. And I believe I'm going to have to do the same with the force field. Well, I, you know, like I've told y'all, I haven't found <laughs> a paint fixie product I don't love. Seriously. Uh, and I don't, I don't say that if I don't mean it. Uh, I use them all, all the time. And you won't see me using my paint pixie brushes in the um, sealers or th you can. And it's fine. But... I tend to not get them in the water quickly enough because I'm live. So if you're at home, you can, I just pick out my old brushes for um, putting down Meltdown or Force Field. I don't want, you know, I don't want to, I kind of baby my Paint Pixie brush. Well, some of them, y'all saw my, the favorite that I use all the time. <laughs> it's, I had to get another one because I painted like crazy with that one. All right, I got a good hefty dose of meltdown on here. And let's just put this down right here. Perfect. And then you can use it when it does a little hint. Almost all of our mystery kits comes with, oh, I missed it. Cindy, you got yours yesterday, y'all. I was, you come on over. I was going to tell y'all about that. I've got my little cheat sheet for that. I keep hearing everybody say that that mystery kit is a huge value. So, you can get the mystery kit for $28. And Josie said, what you doing? You can come say hey. I figured that. Yeah, that's okay. It's the, Mr. T can still say hey to Paint Pixie, right? <laughs> yeah. There he is. He's gonna. Are you cooking for him tonight? Yes. He's gonna cook for y'all live on the Tater Bugging page tonight because he has a class tomorrow all day long. He's gonna put out fires, right? What? I want to just. I'm just making sure this. Uh, there you go, my brayer. Everybody saying good morning to Mr. T. Hello, everybody. My handsome husband. We're going to have King Ranch Chicken Casserole tonight. Did y'all hear that? King Ranch Chicken Casserole. It's a special kind of... Is it something the parents will eat, you think? Yes. Oh, good deal. They'll be happy about that. With a little modification. Yeah, we always have to modify theirs and make it as bland as it can be. Yeah. But that's all right. Uh, it's, it's, what time is dinner? Well, we're going to start cooking at 530. Meet us in the kitchen at 530. How about yep. that? Meet us in the kitchen. We always have fun. That's a, a fun time. And we cut up and everybody teases him and he has a good time, so... Oh, and Josie's going to Josie, and Josie's traveling right now. She's on the... Well, yeah, y'all need to... It, it is central time, yes, uh-huh. Uh -huh. 5.30 central time. Y'all need to watch. I think y'all will really enjoy this, uh, this casserole. I know I will. Ooh, that chicken pot pie last weekend was 
Oh my goodness. Chicken pot pie stromboli. Stromboli. Was it was good. And that puff pastry. Ooh. Oh, Josie says she got home yesterday. Oh, you got back here? Oh, yeah. Well, good. So you get to watch tonight. And so for Josie, it'll be 3.30. Josie and Cindy, they're out in uh, Arizona. Oh, Josie's in Sedona. Well, all right. I'm going to leave you all to it. All right. I'm just going to keep plugging away. Did you have a good trip, Josie? she's on here but Jody Santana sent me a cool cool idea that I want to try with paint pixie paints but I wasn't <laughs> I was too chicken to do it today <laughs> so uh, but if I might practice a little bit if it works I would love to do that one live okay now I want to get going with the background and since we went real um, kind of pastels soft background I think I want to do a brighter background I had a three-hour dinner with my girls on Wednesday night that's fun uh, hey Sarah so let's see what if I go with you know how I love to do those blues we could do that or we could go with um, we could go with some like glazed donut and um, cream puff and chai latte, so it's kind of a, you know what I mean? Had to find you, but I made it, ah, 4.30 p.m. Yeah, she's in Southern Ireland. Sil Sylvia, I'm so glad you're here. Thank you, Chrissy. I hope, I hope this one will turn out. Just gotta decide on the background. Do I go bright or do I mute it? in um you know like neutral tones and then make the girl pop and kind of leaning toward that i think that might be really fun so let's see i was you know fully prepared to go um to go bright but i think we'll make this background neutral we might bring in some liquid pixie dust. So I've got glazed donut, I've got chai latte, and I have chocolate souffle. So let's see what we do. Are you Gwen good? So let's see what we do with this. And I've got my little paper plate so we can play with the colors and mix them up a little bit and see what we get. So I always like to start with a um, light medium and dark hue of the same color family most of the time yeah i think so too chrissy okay so here we are we've got those three colors out on our plate and we've got the little frenchy so I'm using this Sunday. I, I use it all the time. Uh, it's got a nice point on it. You can add water to it. It'll hold water really well to, uh, if you want to make a watercolor look, you can use it with your watercolor paints as well, or mermaid paints. So I'm going to start with the lightest hue of the um, glazed donut. And I want the um, music to show through. Would y'all rather I turn the camera down now so you can really see it well? Maybe, maybe we should do that. Yvette, welcome. Oh, <laughs> that is my most asked question. I got this little book last December from Taperlogy, um, and it sold out pretty quickly, and we can't find them anymore. It's, we're too far into the year, but I'm on the lookout for another one for next year. So... Um, it was something I saw at Taperlogy, and um, 
I thought, boy, it would be fun to challenge myself to an ATC a day, and here we are toward the end of July, well, at the end of July, and you see how much I've used? It's been fun, so I will find those for y'all, and, um, oh, okay, let's see. I'm saving up so I can get some paint, pixie paints and meltdown. You won't be disappointed. Yes, yeah, so happy you're here, Yvette. Okay, well, let's see if I'll at least do the background maybe where y'all can see it. Let's back it up and point it down a little bit. Hi, Pat. So, all I'm doing, I'm not, you know, um, making paint strokes. I'm dabbing right now. So, this, is, this paintbrush is a good dabber, I'll tell you that. If you want to do, uh, Lisa Ahmad does a beautiful background with the little D, which is this one. Um, it fits very well into your hand. And you can add all three of these colors onto the tip of this brush and then start to just make swishes and you'll get a, a really cool background there too. Hey, Cindy from Recycled Charm, how are you? Uh, this is the little D, and then the synthetic bristle form of it is the little B, and I just got it, so I haven't, hadn't cracked it open yet, but, uh, I love the little D so much, I had to get the little B too, so, um, the brushes are top notch, really top notch. Okay, so now I'm going to go in the, with the medium, which is the chai latte. And we're just going to start dabbing that in all around. And we'll see what we're kind of what we're kind of getting. Our, oh, Marilyn, I would love to see y'all challenge yourselves to that next year as well the, to do a an ATC a day. It is, I thought. You know, when I when I said I was going to do it, I thought, oh, have I made a mistake? You know, what if I get tired of it? And, oh, I've committed to this. And once I put it out there, you know, I, I, uh, I feel like I need to go through with it. And um, I have loved every minute of it. And it's amazing how it is a challenge. Some days, you know, I, do, I tend to not look ahead um, at all until... You know, so I pull the, the image when you see me pull the image. And then I have to work with whatever they give me. And if y'all have been watching regularly, you know they have given me a ton of strawberries. <laughs> I love strawberries. But how creative can you get over and over and over with strawberries? Hey, Liz from Texas and Esther. Happy Friday, Sherry. I'm happy y'all are here. Uh, but it really pushes you to think outside the box, you know? Uh, okay, now we're going to go in with the chocolate souffle just a little bit. When you get to your darkest hues, don't go blasting in with it. You know, just start out very lightly and see how it goes and how you feel about it. I might start out around here on the edge just so if it wants to be end up being a ooh, now see all I'm doing is wiggling the the brush around and that is so pretty that's what I love about all the paint pixie paints they blend so beautifully and blending I'm all about the blending I love to blend everything and so that's another reason I really love these paints uh, AT stands, ATCT stands for Altered Trading Card or Artist Trading Cards. There are swap groups that you can find all over the internet for them. Uh, you can go on Pinterest and just search uh, Altered Trading Cards and you'll, you'll be going down a rabbit hole forever because it's awesome. Um, my private group we have a little, um, there are a handful of us from the private group that are doing a little swap every month, and we're having such a ball with that, so. And people ask me, well, what do you do with them? 
whatever you want. You can make them, you know, gifts or gift tags. Um, one lady was telling me that um, she has a, a group of friends. They play cards together regularly, and she's going to make them each one for their birthday. So I think that's a great idea. Um, I am going to create a junk journal for each month of this year. I've done January and February so far. Uh, just to hold them because I want to I want to keep them. I want to remember that I did this and hopefully we'll get through it and uh, I'm as I as it stands right now I really want to do it again for 2024 and I'm looking for that I'm hoping they'll come out with another little book like that. This this background's coming out really cool, isn't it? You gave a shoebox full of mine away. Did you, Sarah? Who'd you give them to? Thank you, Pat. This is fairy season. It's freezing constantly. Ugh. And Sherry, you're so right. And um, they're little, so you don't feel overwhelmed. You know, you, you can kind of bypass that overwhelm of a, you know, a full-size mixed-media project. And it's instant gratification. It doesn't take long to do, and um, it's just fun. It's just so much fun. So I think I'm liking some of the dark around the edges. This is this is making me happy. Rabbit holes with junk journal kits, and I do, oh yes, Marilyn. Listen, um, where is my friend Lisa Ahmad this morning? Is she on here? I hadn't seen Lisa, but Lisa and I found that we we just work real well together and we're very similar in so many ways we're very different but very similar um, and we have something in the works and I've mentioned it before but I think it's gonna be really cool life-changing probably for both of us um, thank you for tagging her Josie um, and uh, we're excited about it. We just gotta, you know, put the finishing touches on it before we sling it out there into the world. But uh, we are, and we, listen, we're doing our homework. <laughs> That's what's keeping us busy a lot of the time. And um, it's, it's gonna be interesting, I think. So y'all be on the lookout for that. The small dailies tend to keep the creative. They do, they do, Gwen. Um, and you know, I had to learn when I challenged myself at the beginning of the year, I really wasn't familiar with video editing at all. And uh, so that was an added element that I, you know, I myself had to learn how to, um, how to shoot them and edit them for y'all. And uh, so it, it was a, it was a good challenge. And now I can shoot them and edit them and get them out there really fast it worried me they were going to take a lot of time but you know the more you do the easier it gets how about that I'm just getting a little bit of this chocolate souffle and running this brush right along the edge it's going to kind of give it a bit of a frame and they'll finish it out so I like how that's looking and uh, you know you look at this chocolate souffle and you think oh it's so dark it's a dark brown but it blends beautifully. I mean, look at that. I think that's fun. Small Halloween kits for September. Ah, Lisa loves Halloween, yes. Bev, um, we're talking pretty soon. We haven't put a date on it. We just think life keeps happening to both of us, which I tend to, um, I don't know. Have y'all ever, I, I don't wanna sound crazy here, but have y'all ever noticed looking back on your life when you're onto something that's going to be very, very meaningful and might be powerful enough to really help a lot of people or change lives, you come up against a lot of circumstances that are really tough um, ahead of it. I wonder if it's sometimes to thwart all the good that's coming. And it's happened and you just I'm gonna look at that as a, a sign that we're on to something really good for y'all and 
God's got this. He's got this. And we just listen. We just listen and obey. And I know he's going to let us know when the time to jump is. So, Yeah, Regina, I, I, I'm, I hang on to summer as long as I can. But once fall gets here and I get into, you know, I like to do the pumpkins. I've done some uh, cute Halloween things. I'm not, a, I'm not, like, I don't decorate for Halloween or anything, um, but we have that, you know, several cute kits in our shop still that are Halloween kits that um, we've had in there. This will probably be the third year. Okay, can y'all see? I'll oh, see white. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's fix that. I don't want to get all squidgy about the details here, but I thought it would be pretty to finish it out. Alright. Now, we've got to draw our girl. It is, Sherry. I agree. I agree. You just got to... I am impatient, and uh, I tend to want to just, ooh, that's great. I want to jump in, you know. I think I'm going to make that the bottom. And that's not the best thing to do. You gotta just listen. Oh, yeah. Oh, Josie, yeah. Oh, she's going to Italy, y'all. Oh, I can't wait to see the pictures. I'm not much for traveling. Um, but I've always thought I would love to go to um, Tuscany. Oh, it looks so beautiful. That's right, Regina. That that's how I view it. it. It's exactly how I view it. And so, um, I'm I'm really hoping that means it's going to be something pretty spectacular for y'all, and it'll benefit me and Lisa as well. Which you know, win win. But we're working hard. We're working hard for it. Okay. Now we got to draw our girl. And you know I've got my, I'm not showing it to you till the end, but I've got my little girl who I just thought she was so cute. And I want to try to base this off of, uh, and I can put these up, I guess. Okay, so we know that if you mix glazed donut, chai latte, and chocolate souffle, you're going to get a really good blend of a um, neutral background. What pencil I'm gonna use I don't want to use my sketch I think I'll use this because uh, you remember on my dolphin that I did I used a sketch pencil and it gives it, the um, magical chalk paints will blend so well with that graphite and it gives it a pretty outline like you saw on the dolphin um, but I don't want that on her face you know I want I want to do this a little differently so we're gonna, we're going to put a little head. So our head's basically a circle. And we're just gonna bring her chin out. Mine does not need to be just like my, you know, it never is. Just like, I use it as inspiration. Uh, my pictures, we're gonna do her. We're gonna do another one of those little long skinny necks because they're so cute. And do a shirt here. And let's see. Let me do this. Helps you to make noises when you do it. Thank you, Josie. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Y'all, I struggled this morning. I had so many ideas. I started to tell you earlier, uh, uh, so many surfaces, so many ideas, which one, but none of them were, I have to feel excited about it or it's going to show in the project. So, um, I had to wait and I kept telling myself, y'all don't want to see another one of these girls. Um, and that's what was, you know, kind of slowing me down. I thought, they don't want to see me do another girl. And I thought, well, if I make it different, if I'm arguing myself, you know. 
Um, Gwen, if you are in Hobby Lobby and you go over to the drawing section, um, you'll find them there. They're usually in with the uh, sketch pencils or if they have the chalkboard section out in the home decor, sometimes they'll have these in that section too. So I kept arguing with myself and uh, thinking, they don't want to see that again. And uh, I just told, finally I said, and literally this was at 10 o'clock. I'm like, no, I, I want to do the girl. She's in here, she's in here, I've got to do it. And maybe they'll be okay with that. <laughs> I would love to draw, but not the case. Well, I didn't draw. I did not draw for a long time. And um, I'm just now feeling like, okay, maybe, maybe I'm okay with this. I need to do her skin tone first. Um, and it's the same, I find, it's the same with uh, lettering. If you force yourself to practice, you're going to get better. Plus, I took a course from Karen Campbell. She's awesome at drawing um, faces, usually whimsical, which I love. This is Cream Puff. When I want a um, just a peachy uh, flesh tone, I use Dream Sickle and Cream Puff. Um, what was I saying? But anyway, I took a course from Karen Campbell. She is great at teaching how to draw faces, and faces were my nemesis. And um, I just kept kept at it. Back when I did portraits, pet portraits, I'm gonna move in a little of the cream puff, a little bit of the dream sickle, and we're gonna meet in the middle until I get the tone I want. And use your palette knife so it you know it it doesn't get stuck up in the bristles you know and you get too much of one or the other we're gonna start there and I can always bring in more okay yeah that's a pretty color and so now I'm gonna go in with my favorite which is the filbert brush it's the turquoise iris favorite is the name of it this is my second one um, but if you, you know, I would, people would say, well, will you draw, will you do a portrait of my kids? Would you, and that, no, I can do it, but they will be faceless. I couldn't do the features. So I did them all, and some people liked them that way. But um, I decided at one point, I thought, no, I've got to get, I've got to make myself try this, you know, get, get better at it. And you have to let go of your fears and just jump in. And uh, I'm not great at it yet. Nor I may never be great at it, but I'm doing it and I'm having fun with it. And y'all saw me draw, I drew out the dolphin. I drew out the um, girl that we did Sunday. And we're drawing this one out, so. Just making myself do it, even even sometimes when it's a little uncomfortable and scary. Okay. And you know, I like whimsical, and so these aren't supposed to be realistic faces. I'm not doing a portrait, it's just fun, and uh, so that's all good. And you know, somebody mentioned the other day that I tend to go toward the blonde, uh, you know, hair or hair that's kind of like mine. So today I'm going to force myself not to do that. Something goes, oh, go, they, what goes big at the auctions? I need to do maybe a little mini drawing class for y'all and, and your homework will be to practice. <laughs> so I'm just gonna kinda come up here and we're gonna have hair, but I want in case 
her face kind of peeks through. Now, I think I'll go in with, um, 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 let's go in, let's try a, a little uh, chai latte. Right on the end, I'm not gonna rinse my brush. Hey, Lori, I didn't know you were here. I bet you don't. Oh, my girls do, Gwen. So we're just gonna take this same brush and kind of uh, give her a little bit of a shadow. Because again, I can't just leave it alone and give it, um, you know, make it flat. Can y'all see that little shadow? There, you know, I learned there is, a, uh, surprise, surprise, there is an, you know, a way to do it that Karen Campbell taught me. You know, you kind of map out where the eyes, nose, and the mouth go, and uh, I was getting it all wrong. And uh, once, you know, you know kind of where to put things like that, it, it does get easier. And I just go on Pinterest and I look for, uh, I look for the drawings or pictures that spark joy in me and try to recreate them. And, you know, you it'll never look just like theirs because you're you, you know, and they're who they are. And uh, so you got to let go of feeling like it, you know, if it doesn't look just like theirs, it's a failure because that's not the case. Let's put a little shadow right here under her chin. Again, this is the chai latte. And you saw me blend it with the um, glazed donut and chocolate souffle, but look how well it blends with the dreamsicle and cream puff. And it gives that little shadow. And let's do it right at the top of her shirt here and I'll hold it up and show you and you just go back and forth you don't go in real real heavy I'm barely dipping into you know the darker color the chai latte because you don't want it to be a harsh line you want to blend it in with uh, with your skin tones so you can kind of see now where her chin would be out over her neck She's got a few little wrinkles in there, but I think that adds to the charm. I'm going to, I'm going to mix up a little bit more of, because I think it's going to need one more coat on her face. Just a little bit. Oh, she has, Sherry. I bet that was beautiful. One thing I would suggest you try sometime too which is it's interesting take a photo of yourself you know take a selfie that you're okay with and print it out to the size of whatever canvas you want to use put down a piece of uh, graphite paper we used to call it carbon paper and um, trace out the basic lines of your face your eyes it doesn't have to be detailed, but just trace out that selfie um, minimally. And then just practice coloring it in or painting it in however you want to. It can be abstract, but it also uh, it helps you with um, shadows because you'll see those in the pictures. So you'll, you'll, your brain starts to change and see faces in shadows and uh, higher and deeper and it's really interesting and it's fun. It's really fun and I think you'll learn, well, I learned a lot from it doing that or really any face. You can do it with any face, but it's kind of fun when it's your own, you know, that you're, you're um, painting. So if you're not comfortable with drawing it out yet, that's my suggestion. Um, trace it first, nothing wrong with that. Kind of got crazy over here. I'll fix that. Let's, I'm gonna have to go back in. I made her cheek go a little bit bigger, but that's okay. And now she's just—you can't see as much of the. You 
fixing. So let me go back in with the child latte here and fix that. chin down just a little bit. Okay, we got that down. Hey, Trace, good morning. Had to do a self-portrait from looking in a mirror. Oh, my. Don't. Oh, I would just croak. I think I would just croak. <laughs> okay, what if? What if we play around a little bit with colors and see if we might could mix like a cute red hair? I mean, we could go pink. We could do go wild, you know, but I think it might be a curly red head. What do y'all think? I don't know. I'm pulling out candied papaya. I'm just playing now. I didn't plan all this out. But paint, the Magical Chalk paints have been really sweet to me in the past, so fingers crossed. But you know what? If, if, it's, if it doesn't work out, so what? We learn from it. So now this is Honeycomb. This was part of our Believe kit. Come on, Honeycomb. Oh, it might be time for some more Honeycomb. And a little lemon crinkle, because we might want some highlights. Ooh, purple hair would be fun. Ooh, the next one may have to have purple hair. So, let me get my little palette line. Look, I got out my, I automatically went for my uh, old cheapo Hobby Lobby, but wait a minute. Why don't I use... You know, I'm terrible about, you know, holding these so dear. This is the Turquoise Iris. Um, this is the number five palette. I love these handles. I love that teal color. But why well, not use it, Lindy? Come on. So we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to take a little bit of each one. That's Lemon Crinkle and Candy Papaya. And we're going to see what kind of pretty hair color we can come up with. Oh, it's like a strawberry blonde. And then we can put, we can use the lemon crinkle for highlights and the candied papaya for the depth. What do you think? That's kind of a fun color, isn't it? So, I encourage you, if you've got three or four, well, I'd say three, I usually use three, uh, dark, medium, and light in any of the Pink Pixie colors. Put them out on a paper plate, do a little dot of each, and start playing and seeing all the different colors that you can make. Okay, let me get my favorite out again. We're going to start with the base of her hair with the favorite. So she's going to have some cute little bangs. They're going to be wispy. Oh, look at that color. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm holding the brush up like this and using it this way. Very light, you know, swatches. And um, this one brush can do so much, y'all. It really can. I love this hair color. <laughs> I love it. Let me give her a fun hairdo. Okay. Wispy, wispy, wisps. I'll show you what I got. Look how cute. It's going to be cute. You were, Josie? We're on the same wavelength today. When I was thinking of her earlier, I thought, well, what color hair? You know? I don't want to do another, my, you know, I don't want to stick to the same thing. That's no fun. I want to, I want to play. I'm looking up here at my mom. Um, 
my sweet little friend named Ella. She is um, my hairstylist granddaughter. She and Eva are twins, and she loves to watch YouTube. And um, I was there a couple of weeks ago, and she found out I was on YouTube. She started watching. Well, she told her grandmother she really wanted something. She said, I have um, looked all over the internet, uh, oh no, on Amazon for paint pixie paints. And she said, I can't find them. They're, they, they're not what Miss Lindy uses. And I need to know, would you please get in touch with her and see where I can get paint pixie paints? And would you get them for me, Mammy? <laughs> she calls her grandmother Mammy. And um, so my hairstylist got in touch with me. And, you know, I got her fixed up with where to go and what, you know, what to order and all. And um, lo and behold, that sweet girl is doing ATCs. And uh, I don't know, I haven't found out what exactly uh, my hairstylist picked out for from Paint Pixie. But um, she's doing ATCs and she was anxious for me to get my, <laughs> my princess girl painting up on YouTube because she looked at my YouTube and she's like, Miss Lucky hasn't even posted in a month. Well, I got called out because I, I used to do it regularly. And um, she called me out on it. And so I said, you tell Ella I will get that up on YouTube for her tomorrow. And she was so excited. And so Ella, if, you know, if you're ever watching this, you inspire me. She is so talented. And both of those sweet girls are. And, um. They're just so much fun to sit and visit with. She can find a TikTok dance and do it like nobody's business. She's trying to get me to do them. I'm like, now nah, break a hip, girl. Okay, now we've got this. Look at her hair so far. But we're going to do a cute little hairstyle. We're not going to stop there. I love those colors for hair. Do you? I can, Ruth. Yeah, I've got it. Uh, you know what? That, that's one brush that I don't have from Pink Pixie yet. I thought I had everything. <laughs> Gwen, do you think so? That's funny. Okay, so I'm going to use uh, the liner brush. This is Tipsy. Okay. Now, let's do... Oh, this is going to be fun. And I am barely, barely letting my paintbrush touch the canvas. Let's go in with a little lemon crinkle here. And we're just doing like commas, backward or parentheses, backward and forward. I'm loving this hair color. I think this is going to be a go-to from here on out because it's just so much fun. She's a real sassy girl. Think to check on my time. We're still doing pretty good. Uh, Josie, is there anyone after me just so I know? <laughs> so even you know, once you get your paint down, it's uh, you, you know, it'll reactivate. When you add more paint so if i go in with a little lemon crinkle for highlights it will still blend in with these colors and i love that so we're just going to put a few little wispy highlights with lemon crinkle and different things and if you find you don't want want it that bright you just go back in with the uh, candy papaya just keep playing back and forth until it's the way you, you know, you like it. Ooh, I think it's fun.
There's one little bun. We're going to put buns on either side. What do you think? Okay, so I'm good to just keep playing. If uh, I'm hoping. I don't like to keep y'all over an hour, but sometimes, you know, it just happens. Two little messy buns on either side. Do some more straight candy papaya. Do a little honeycomb in there. Well, this is just pure play. This is, I needed this. I needed this. this I was getting all hung up and second guessing what what y'all might want me to do and sometimes you just gotta go with your gut and what makes you happy because it's gonna show in your project how cute is that ah! do y'all like the buns you cannot rush art man <laughs> oh goldie you're so sweet Thanks, Regina and Melinda. Uh, okay, so now let me uh, put a base coat of cream puff for her shirt. I think we're going to do stripes again. That was fun, and, you know, if it's going to be a series, sometimes you want, you know, I could do polka dots. Maybe I'll, well, her hair's got the circles. I don't need that much, Lindy. Uh, so I may go with stripes. I may just do that. Y'all like it. Thank you. This is so fun. All right. I'm just going to put the cream puff down like we did for her shirt. The, the other girl I did, her little shirt. Base color. Just cream puff. She's, she's coming to life. Oh, freckles, yes! Oh, that's a great idea. Yes, she definitely needs freckles. Definitely. Oh, that's fun. I've never, I don't think I've ever painted freckles before. We're going to try it. Just making sure I get that covered. So she pops. And for right now, I'm just going to leave it cream because we might, I might do something different. All right, we need to draw out her face now, okay? Let's see if I can do this. Where did I, here it is. All right, we're going to have some cute eyes with eyelashes, of course. So I'm going to go right about here. I don't want to do it exactly like the one I'm, I'm looking at, but I want them to look similar because she's she's what inspired me. All right, maybe we'll right there, and she's just gonna have a little whoop of a nose. It's not even gonna be a full nose, and then let's do. We're going to do, I like this mouth, uh, and I'm going to hold it up and show you, just a little rough sketch, see your face coming out there, Let's see how we can do, thank you Marilyn for that, I appreciate it. Oh, thank you, Sherry. 
Okay, now. Alright, let's put down. I'm gonna. No, not that one. I'm gonna use my uh, just regular old acrylic paint in black. It's just plain black. Just because I've got so much of this, and I, if I do my, like, eyelashes, licorice is perfect, but it's a little lighter than this black. So, I'm just going to start out with this, just a dot of it, and let's use my Icon brush. That is, um. The Icon is the little detail brush that I love so much. I do a lot of lettering with this and with the uh, Tipsy. Okay, so I'm gonna do her eyes. I'll move this here. Let's go to this side. You want to have a really, really light hand. I love to do eyes. They make me so happy. This is when it all starts to come together. So we have just two little, you know, simple little lines about halfway down her face. Now we're going to have her looking up. I think we're gonna hope so. <laughs> See if I can do this. A little like cartoonish face. You know, the eyes can make you or break you, so she, uh, I'm trying to, oh, I stuck my hand all in there. I should have dried that first. I'd get carried away. That. Oh, thank you, Trees. Gotta go get a haircut. Okay, Bev. Come back and see how she turns out. Maybe she won't be looking up. I don't know. We'll see. Just see what she decides to do. Sometimes that's what you just have to do. Let them decide. <laughs> Sweet old dog. Has got, I, you know, I haven't given him his cough medicine this morning. Oh my goodness. Looking cute. Oh, so fun. You okay, bud? For some more eyelashes. And I think I want to do her eyebrows in a chocolate souffle. Good morning, Yolanda. How are you? I need to speak with you today. I've got to talk with you about how you want the inside of your jewelry box finished out. Alright, still the icon. We're just going to do um, I think I'm going to make mine a little different. I think I am going to do different eyebrows than the one that I that was my inspiration. We'll see. We'll see what she says. Her up just just because of eyebrows. That's not bad. Not bad. She's coming along, trying to pull her off this canvas here. 
let's just dip into we're gonna go really easy on her nose like right there and I've got to put a little um, reflections in her eyes because it's my favorite part Oh, thank you, Lori. Are you, Gwen? I can't wait to see yours. Ah, Chrissy, did you squeal? Yay! She's got a kind of a, a vintage vibe to her now. I didn't, you know, I didn't plan that out, but she seems to have kind of a vintage vibe. Does she need red lipstick? I think she does, doesn't she? Because she's, you know, she's feisty that way. What, candy apple, maybe? I think. Let's try it. You know, Gwen, they're not supposed to. Mine looks nothing like, excuse me, the girl that was my inspiration. It just doesn't, and I love that. Oh. Okay, let's see if we can do her some pretty little lips. We're going to kind of go... She's kind of coming out like a cutie patootie, I think, if I don't mess her up. never done a mouth like this, so we're just going to see. I'm going off my uh, inspiration piece for the mouth, see if I can do it. But it's really a simple shape, so. She's getting there. She's getting there. She's, she's coming to life. That's not at all how I picture her, but how fun. Okay, I'm going to go back in and add a little more lipstick. She's feeling kind of uh, 60s-ish to me. What about y'all? <laughs> I'm glad y'all like that lip color. Good deal. Let's see. I want to, uh, I did forget to get, you know what I could do? Um, no, let me, let me do something else. Let me grab this. I gotta grab my little makeup kit for my girls and get the blush out. I'm gonna put a little blush on her cheeks and see how that looks. And, uh, That's what I was thinking, Priscilla. Oh my goodness, I was thinking Marlo Thomas or Mary Tyler Moore. I don't know why. That's so cool you saw that too. Okay, little cheeks. And then we've got to put her um, freckles on her. I'm just looking at her eyes, and I think I want to add, I'm playing, I want to add a little of the, where did I, cream puff, 
Oh, well, sorry stuff got in the way, didn't it? Y'all, I had stuff flying yesterday. No, I don't want to forget the freckles. I do not want to forget the freckles. Um, let's just put a little cream puff. And just kind of blend that in. Let's compare the two. I think I gotta tone down her cheeks a little bit. Mercy girl. That's a little okay, and then just I think it needed just that little, <laughs> little bit of white. Not making some eyes pop, doesn't it? Okay, so what I'm gonna do, try this. I'm gonna take my um, favorite and leave a little bit of water in it and just smooth out that blush a little bit so it's not so harsh. And we're gonna put some freckles on her. Yes? Yeah? Oh, okay. Alright. What's up with the lunch? I'm getting hungry. <laughs> so that's toned her cheeks down a little bit. Now let's take our icon brush and I think, what if I start out with um, chai latte for her freckles? on her lips a little bit. We're getting close, y'all. We are we are getting close. That's not that's not chai latte. Oh Chrissy, oh no. Well maybe when you get off work today you can paint. show you. Can y'all see the freckles I'm putting in there? There's Lisa. Hey girl, we were hollering for you earlier. What you up to? Oh, the freckles are just it, y'all. Great call. Does that look right? What do y'all think of her freckles? Oh, Lisa, you were on the tater bugging page. A modern little Debbie. It kind of is. So next is just details, and then we're going to put the finishing touches on her. Okay. Let me get my detailed uh, pins here. And I want to start... No, I don't want to go in big. Let's go medium. Let's see how we do. Hey, Pixie Designs by PK. Thank you. How are you doing? So, yes. It's 11:30. We'll be to get lunch with Oh yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> So, I want to just be very selective about, you know, like I want to outline her sweet little mouth because I want to have a little turned up smile here. outline on her face very lightly and I want to do wisps in her hair Fix 
extra little bun to make it look like a flower, kind of. Just wispy. different than any other face I've ever done. Uh, yeah, do try that. Those They're a little bit different, and I don't know, it gives her a little uh, pixie kind of look, doesn't it? Oh, she's cute. I like her a lot. We're friends. Okay. All right, now, here's what I wanted to do. Let's see if one of these crowns looks good on her. I'm going to pull out the, the larger ones. Um, let me hold them up and let y'all decide. And I've got one more thing I think I want to add to it. We've got that one. This. Come on out of there. What is, does she need a little bow? Dimples. Oh, I'm so scared to mess her up. So let me show y'all options. There's one crown. another crown. What do y'all think? Do I put a crown on her so she's part of the series or what? And does, look, we could, instead of the crown, we could put this little bow. You know, that's kind of a 60s thing to have a little shirt with a bow on it. What do y'all think? I'll listen to y'all for that. This one. I like this one too. Bow. Do I do? Do I do both the bow and the crown, or just one or the other? Let me. Uh, let me grab. Oh, let's see here. What kind of embellishments we have? bow on the shirt. Like the bow. Love the bow. We're definitely doing the bow then. Okay. Yeah, that's the same one. Okay, I have two of those. I, I don't think we can do better than that bow myself. That, unless... No, I, well, we've got that one. No crown. Crown is cute if you're planning on the same thing. I would do both I'm kind of extra. <laughs> Sarah says not both. It's like bow. I'm kind of really loving that bow. I really am. And, uh, okay. Let me put this on. I'm going to do uh, like I did with the, the other crown on the girl. And do a little um, B7000. And it would be so cute to take a little, um, if you didn't have the totally dazzled, you could take a little black ribbon and just tie it in a knot and put it there, you know, and have it 3D. That'd be cute too, like a little sailor bow. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of this and then a little bit of hot glue to hold it right away. And I'll hold it up, and she may just be ready to. Did I not turn that on? 
boy. Well, let's give her a minute, y'all. Let's give her a minute. While we do that, I can sign it. And I can show you my inspiration because I don't think they look at really at all alike. This was my inspiration. And she's got, you know, her books on her head and everything. Um, she has arrows in her buns. She's very cute, but I don't think mine really, um, they don't look the same. So that's what happens, you know. you. You get inspired by something, and then you do your own, do your own thing. Crown and bow dimples. How do I do dimples? I'm so afraid of messing her up. Like, uh, just like little black lines. Do you, Judy? Thank you. If you had two of the bows, you could put them on the buns. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and I just put my finger in that. I have two of those bows. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, where'd you go? Here it is. I'm always afraid of going overboard. I always, um, you know, tend to stop really quick. Uh, Josie, it, uh, this one has this little design. A stripe with a little uh, bow. But as I was painting this, I thought, ooh, what if I put a, a real bow, a totally dazzled bow on it? Somehow these are hard to get into. Oh, mm, cute, but I'm afraid it's gonna take away from her face. Am I wrong? The two bows? Oh, thank you, Chrissy. Thank you, Gwen. I'll let y'all tell me. So, two bows or one bow down here. Too much. Ah, uh, yeah, I think so too. I don't want to. I don't want to do that too much on her. She's just kind of carefree, and you know, if you wanted to, you could just take two little ribbons and um you know tie them into a little bow and just tuck them right here i think i'm gonna leave her just like that let me try dimples with a white chalk pen or i mean pencil first okay i'm gonna try it just a little I didn't mess her up. Do those dimples look okay? Oh, thank you, Lisa. Yeah, a little farm girl dressed up. And I, I like the, you know, that they can still be in a series, but they're fun girls with a little bit of dazzle on them, you know? Thank you, Trees. Am I, am I heated up yet? It doesn't usually take. really like her y'all thank you for letting me do this I was gonna kind of ask y'all if you you know can think of anything I didn't settle on lettering you know what I would put but it would be cute to just do a little lettering you know like right around here if y'all have a fun little saying that you think might go with her I would love to do that I'm so happy y'all like her. Oh, I love reading your comments. A farm girl can have a crown, Stacy. Absolutely. We were just deciding if it was too much to have 
both the the blingy bow and the crown it needs a saying help me Josie with a saying and and message me and I'll put it on there and then I'll post it I think lettering you know in the background makes me happy I would love to do that a girl without freckles is like a night without stars ah! Um, Marilyn, I'm trying, I would love to. I just want to find the right one. I did, I did see one that I thought might be cute with this, but now I don't have a crown on her, so it won't, I won't do that. It was Chin Up Princess or the Crown Slips, but there's no crown on her. It does need lettering. I agree. You love what Lori just said? Okay, let me write it down real quick. Night without stars, is that what it is? Night without stars. Love that. Let's Hey, this is real whimsical, but that can give me an idea of where I'm going to put it. What do y'all think? Oh, I think freckles are pretty. I know there are a lot of people who put faux freckles on their face because they don't have any. Uh, I guess you have, Lori. Yeah, you do have pretty freckles, too. I think this is fun. I think this is fun, and I hope y'all enjoyed it and had a good time uh, with it. Josie, thank you so much for letting me go live on your page, and thank you for bringing us all these wonderful products that we get to play with and work with. Uh, it's been life-changing for me, for sure. So, um, y'all, if you don't have any uh, paint pixie, magical chalk paints, or liquid pixie dust yet, oh. I, I had a, just had a thought of the blush would go so well with this rose gold, and I thought about okay, I, I I may end up putting a little blush in the background, but choose. Uh, I would suggest you choose three of your favorite colors in the magical chalk paints and a liquid pixie dust, and start there, and uh, you won't be disappointed. Oh, thank you, Josie. I had fun, and I needed some fun today. So y'all go have a great Friday. And uh, Mr. T is going to cook for you tonight at 530. And I will see you. Uh, I will, Regina. I, I try to stay away from that today because uh, it, it, just pray for him, please. Pray for my Uncle Walter, Aunt Lynn, and my cousin Joey. Um, it's not long. And it, it breaks my heart. So, thank you for asking about him and thank y'all for your prayers there there are the two together oh you want wait you want me to hold this <laughs> okay there's the two very very different can they can they even be considered a series who's to say we can so there we are these are our two girls i am having a ball doing these girls and i hope you don't get tired of them because i may have a couple more in me so 
anyway, thank you all. Have a great Friday. Love you all, and uh, we'll see you tonight in the kitchen. Bye.